What's up guys out here on my local lake today fishing. Uh, it's about 30 degrees. Uh, it hasn't gotten any warmer today even though the forecast was supposed to show sun. It's been cloudy all day. A little breeze hasn't made it any warmer. But uh, I took a break from fishing for a couple minutes and started scanning around. Uh, this local lake uh, in Raleigh, North Carolina, Falls Lake, isn't on Lake Master. If you're not familiar with Lake Master, Lake Master is uh, mapping for hummingbirds. Hummingbird goes out, maps the lakes, puts it on an SD card for each region of the country, and that's Lake Master. It's uh, transducer based mapping instead of uh, taking old paper maps or uh, different accounts like that. They actually take a boat out and they'll scan and use what comes in the transducer and it logs the, the chart lines, the depth, everything. One cool thing about this is that if your local lake, if a pond that is pretty big but isn't considered a lake, if any of those situations occur and uh, you don't have map, instead of relying on another nav chip, Hummingbird has made a way that you can make your own map and it's pretty simple. Uh, there's a SD card called Auto Chart Live. Just like the Lake Master chip for the Mid-Atlantic region or the Southern or the Western, whatever the region it is, they have a Lake Master chip for it. If your lake's not on there, Auto Chart Live is here to save the day. So Auto Chart Live is just a blank SD card that you can record to and it, na and it records all your navigation lines, it records uh, different options that you have and you can customize your own map. So this lake isn't on Lake Master, so I've been idling around. I'm gonna show you kind of what it's all about. Let me start up the mercury real quick. So as you can see, I've already mapped this area, this point. You know, there's a, a point that comes off here and there's a danger buoy out at the end. I don't know if that's just for navigation or uh, for, you know, people unfamiliar with the lake to stay away, but it isn't actually shallow uh, where you're danger of hitting the bottom. As you can see here, let me center you up. You can have multiple colors. I have five colors selected. So green is the shallowest, and that's right there up at the point, you know, as if you're fishing on the bank, that's the depth you're in. Then there's a darker orange. That's that mid-depth, about eight to 13, it looks like. You can change it and set it uh, many different ways for your preference. There's another slight color of orange, about 15 to 20 is that orange. And then there's an even lighter orange. That lighter orange is, right now it says 20 feet. And as we're mapping right now, we're making our own charts. So as you can see, it's filling in the data. It's, we're in 20 feet, 21 feet right now. So it's showing, hey, we need to update. It said it was 18 uh, on our first pass through. And as we start building it more, it'll adjust it and this flat that was just a circle is now coming out and it'll probably extend all the way across but as you can see as we come out towards this buoy straight ahead the buoy's roughly in 20 feet of water you can see the channel we have it in yellow the channel swings around the other side of the bank uh, closer to that side and that's in a yellow so it's uh, 30 to 38 from what you can see, you can use your uh, nav lines. If you want to have every two feet with a nav line, you can. If you want it every single foot, as you can see, I have 18. There's an 18 foot hump. Then it drops down to 19, and then there's a 20 foot hump, or a you know a 20 foot ditch. And then it'll you know every single line is a contour. It's a foot. So, however your preference is, Auto Chart Live can do it for you. Obviously. Once you map it pretty good, it's not going to adjust, so as you can see, uh, we're not updating any right now, but even fishing down the bank, earlier I fished down this other side of the bank, and you can see where I had it just running back here while I was on the trolling motor, you know, two miles an hour, a mile and a half, whatever your trolling motor does, it'll even log it when you're not at the big motor, so, uh, you know, you can map that, and it's a lot easier than actually, like, driving right beside the land. Uh, you know, if it does come up, you might hit something. If you're just fishing down the bank, you can have it on, and you'll at least have the little depth contours for you know if you're if you're beating the bank, uh, those depth contours. I'm gonna idle up here real quick to some unmapped water. Show you we can build it from the from the channel all the way to the bank. So let's get out here where the channel is. 
pretty handy deal. Otherwise, you have to deal with old maps that might not be up to date or uh, or no map at all. Um, no more of that. I never, if I don't have a map, uh, when I get to a lake, I know that I can uh, start building a map. And by the time I leave, if it's a week, if it's two days, whatever it is, I'll have an accurate map based on the transducer reading. So, as you can see here, we're going. You can see the green line of the the boat cursor going straight out. And I'm going to build. See if that. Let's see if this 20 foot depth contour that's like a ditch basically through the middle of this point, if it extends out on the other side of this point, or if it'll uh, if it'll end up coming up shallower. You can see this big solid area right here. You might be like, why is there no depth change right there, no contour lines? That's telling you from right where that dark orange starts, that's 19 feet. And it won't change colors or even add a line until it's another foot. So 20 foot depth right there. And then you can see we went for a little bit and it was a little deeper than that. And then it changed again. So pretty cool. You can see there's the bank. We're not too far off of it now. We're gonna swing back around, show you some shallow readings it's gonna do. Now it's gonna start coming up pretty quick. We're, we were in 21, now it's up to 17, 16. Now we're gonna to get to those shallow depths. Now we're all the way up to 13, 12. Eight feet deep. Boom, there goes the green. There's your color for five feet deep. Green is five feet and less it looks like it's what my settings are set on and if you're like me and you're a little obsessive about perfect detail I'm gonna take this blue that's right here I'm gonna make it disappear by mapping that one little uh, plot of water that we didn't get you can see it might tell you something we didn't know about that shallow spot see shut her off pretty cool auto chart live make your own maps you can see here now we'll zoom it out you can see we have our own contours now if it's zoomed out while you're running boom you know orange yellow it's all safe green is going to be shallow shows you perfectly if you want to pull up to a, a hump you can say or i'm catching fish in 20 feet well you can see none of this is 20 feet and then oh there's 20 feet right on right in the middle of this point you'd think it'd be out here on the outside but it's not it goes shallow mid depth 20 feet then it gets you know 18 19 feet and then it drops back off into the channel so a little ditch that runs through that point something i didn't know five minutes ago before i started mapping so check it out if you have hummingbird units i have helix tens two helix tens uh, one in the front one in the back if you have hummingbird units that are compatible with lake master chips you can get auto chart live Start recording your own data. Make your own maps. Have a map that your buddies don't have. And, uh, you know, catch some fish off those spots that you didn't know were there. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for tuning in.